So someone recently searched this, how to rewrite articles automatically, and ended up on my channel. So who knows why you were looking for that? I don't know, but let's talk about it. Could be fun. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in this video, is learn how to rewrite articles automatically in this Mathematica tutorial. So let's scroll down where I have entered a dictionary of English words. Okay, so I obtained this for free online somewhere. I'm sure you can find a similar one if you just look around. What I did is I uh, deleted words that I would consider offensive to some people. Okay, so hopefully this should be offense free. So I'm going to press shift enter. Now this could take a little while. Let's do it. Shift enter. It says running up in the top corner. Meanwhile, I'll make myself smaller. Get out of your way so you can see. All right, it seems to uh, have finished running or so I thought. Okay, it seems to have finished. Now let's scroll down. This is a very big list, as you can imagine, probably around 40,000 words. Okay, now uh, let's just play around with it. So um, these are entered as a string. So have a look at this semicolon. Sorry, not a semicolon, a quotation mark. That is indicating that this is a string. So if you want to denote a string, you use these quotation marks. Okay, so let's say t equals string split. Now what this will do is it will put a comma after every space, right? So that rather than working with strings or just one string, we can work with a list of strings, which may make things a little easier. Okay, so I'll say t equals this, shift enter, so that, that goes into memory. And now let's uh, find out what the length of this list is. All right, length is 354,916 English words that I've entered into memory. So I was off by quite a lot. I said 40,000, didn't I? Okay, there are a lot more. Now, uh, let's choose a word and ask what position in the list it is. Okay, so let's go for cow. All right, where is cow in the English dictionary? Well, it is the 66th thousand nine hundred and forty seventh forty second word in this list. OK. That's what that says there. All right. So rather than entering this again, uh, let's scroll down to a new cell. And now let's just try what is the next word after cow in this list? So T and I'm indexing now, so I've got a double square bracket. Okay, so six, six, nine, four, three would be the next number after that. Let's see what this is. Cowage, I don't know what that means. Okay, the next one after that, cowages. How about the next one after that? Cowl. Okay, so everything seems to be like you would expect, even though these are words unfamiliar to me. Okay, so now that that's okay, let's get on with the exercise. How do we rewrite something automatically? So I figure maybe the easiest way to do this is to go online and look for a poem that uh, is not co under copyright. Okay, so I found one. I'll show it to you. All right, so there's a website poets.org, poet, poets org, poem, much and more, something like this. Okay, so if I remember, I'll put this in the description below. But this one is by Juna Barnes, who lived from 1892 to 1982. Okay, so I won't read it to you. What I'm going to do is just copy it. Copy it. Okay, now I'll minimize this. So it's in my computer's memory. And let's see, let's just put it in a new cell right here. Okay, now you can see that it's got some black, some blue, 
colors, um, some spaces, and so on, right? So at this stage, um, Mathematica really doesn't know what to do with this, right? Because if is a built-in function, we all know what if means. But these, it assumes, are variables. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn this into a string. All we have to do is put quotations around it. Okay, and let's call this the letter R. Okay, so I'm saying R equals this string. Semicolon, so I don't see the output. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's put it in memory. Okay, so that's in memory. Okay, now let's uh, play around with it. So I'm going to say W equals string split. Okay, remember what this does? It takes all of the spaces in this string and instead it puts commas there. Okay, so, th so that we get a list out of that uh, string. All right, so let's have a look at it because this is short enough that we can have a look. All right, so here we see that very uh, poem now has commas where the spaces were. All right, that's great. Now, next, what if we were to try to, you know, mix this up and uh, replace some of these words with some other words? Okay, so how would we do that? Well, first of all, you might want to be able to ask a few questions um, about this list of strings. Okay, for example, if we ask where in the list does the string they appear? Okay, shift enter. Well, it appears in two places. Okay, so at position 18 and position 27. Now, if you read through this, there's a they there. That looks about right. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, now, uh, what if you wanted to go back? Go back from a, a list of strings to one string. There's a command for that in Mathematica, and it's called string uh, riffle, rifle. I don't know how to say this. Okay. So let's do that. Now, first of all, I've got string replace. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's try replacing the word comet with cow. And let's try to replace I'd, which is short for I would. Let's replace that with I would. Okay, and then after doing that, I'm going to place spaces where the commas were to make one string out of it. Okay, so shift enter, and there we have exactly that. Okay, if my lover were a cow hung in air, etc. I was never very good at um, understanding or interpreting the meaning of poetry. I like, leave that to other people. Okay, but um, some people love it. Okay, so speak is another function. So now we can try to speak this. I don't know whether or not you'll hear this from my computer, so I'll have a go at moving my microphone over towards the computer. And then I'll press shift enter. If my lover were a cow hung in air, I would braid my wicked body in his hair. Dot. Yet if they bury him ten leagues beneath the low, my fingers they would learn to speak and I would plunge home. Did you hear that? I hope so. Okay, now that we've got some basic skills in replacing uh, some words within this poem, let's move on and do some more complicated things. Okay, so remember what our task is to write an article automatically. Okay, so if we go and we construct a function. Okay, so I want to construct a function now. All right, so you've probably seen my little book before. Choosing a name for your algorithm, okay? It's helpful for when you're not feeling so creative about what you want to call the name of your function. So let me have a look through here. All right, I'll go with Alba, which this says is an Aboriginal female name, Alba, all right? So let's go with that, and I'll say Alba, and I like to put these in lowercase so that I distinguish these from the built-in functions. 
of Mathematica. All right, so I'm building a function of uh, a letter, and I'm, I'll just say of J, all right? So I put J and then I put an underscore. Okay, now that I have that, because I'm building a function, I put colon equals. And now I'm going to need a local variable, so I'll use module. All right, I'll end my bracket and then I'll put a semicolon. Now I need a spot for that to go, and I'm going to use the letter U as a local variable. Okay, U goes in there, comma, and now I want to say, um, well, do you remember that we had 354,000 916 words in this list of English words. Okay, so what I'm going to do is write that out. 354916. Right, and then I'm going to multiply that integer by a random number. All right, so what random does, if you just put random and then an empty square bracket, it just chooses a random number between 0 and 1. Okay, so if I'm to multiply a number between 0 and 1 by the number of uh, words in, in my dictionary, well, I'm going to get a random word in my dictionary, almost, right? What I need to do is turn that into an integer. So now I'm going to take the floor of this. All right, so the floor of that. Now I want a semicolon there because uh, I'm going to say u is equal to this. Okay, u equals this. And next I want to make this a function that gives me a replacement rule. Okay, so I'll copy this from what I've already got written. Now I'm going to paste that I wish to replace the jth element of the array w. It's a little bit difficult for me to scroll because this is such a long list. Yeah, you see the problem. Okay, I end up where I didn't want to be. All right, so I'll just tell you W is the the list that we created earlier, uh, st string split of R. So that, it, that was the original poem uh, with the spaces replaced by commas. Okay, so we're pulling up the jth element of that array which is the poem. And we're going to replace that with the youth. That sounds silly. The element U of the array T. Now the array T was the list of English words in my English dictionary. Okay, not all Eng English dictionaries are the same and they change. So uh, that's what our function is doing. It's taking the jth element of the poem and replacing that word with a random word out of the dictionary. Okay, now shift enter and this function will be in memory. Let's test it out. I'll just say what is alba, is it the name of the function? Alba, let's take the sixth element of alba. Okay, and it says to replace comment with cadi. All right, whatever that word means. Now, let's try that again because random will be different every time you run it. All right, comma, comment, comment, replace with swings. Try it again. Avicularia. Okay, I don't recommend, recognize any of these words yet. So the collection of English words that we use is, is frequently much smaller than the entire collection. All right, to state the obvious. Okay, so now let's, I think I'm drifting out, so I'll move myself. Uh, let's continue on. Now I want to say, all right, so I'll rewrite that W is string split R. Okay, and then what I wanna do is tabulate, um, tabulate something. I'll just show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm going to tabulate and I'm saying W equals string replace W. 
uh, and then the replacement rules. But here I've got alba 3k, so that's 3 times k. Okay, so what I want to do is take every third word in the poem and replace that with a random word out of the dictionary. All right, so that's what this is this is doing right here. Okay, and then I'm tabulating. So each time I'm 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 saying w equals this new thing, w equals this new thing, and so on. And I'm doing that eight times. Okay, so that so that um, every third word, um, up to eight of those third words gets replaced. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, you don't see the output because I put a semicolon. And now finally what I want to do is use uh, string riffle. Let's say string riffle. Okay, and then let's speak the result. You know what, I'm going to take off the semicolon too in case you cannot hear that. And also because every time you run this, it will be different. Okay, let's try it. So I'll move the mic up so maybe you can hear out of my bad speakers. And I'll press shift enter. If quadlessness hookers were dynamogony on in transitively with brave quadlessness sleeping body scale of more that his hair dot yet if conjugation bury him autopsychology leaves beneath cyanamid low my fingers conjugation would learn to dig an eye. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so result achieved. Alright, so we did the task that we said we would do how to rewrite articles automatically, okay? Now let's go back and see if we can have a look at what we got because I bet you didn't properly hear that coming out of the computer. Uh, this is a little tough. Okay, so you can see what we get is, you know, a fair bit of nonsense, all right? Um, so yeah, we've got a new poem, but you know, maybe it's not so poetic. Okay, so now if we just do this again, all right, I'll do it again, and what you'll see is that we'll most likely get um, another poem, right? Shift enter. Elbow and peace. Tessus were a walk stand, hung in Elmeri with braid, elbow and peace, sleeping body on cut his hair, dot yet yeah, not equivalent, he buried him, Parker's leaves beneath, cruciate low, my fingers, not equivalent, he would learn to dig an eye. Right. Isn't it? Okay, so again, one last time. If Rechia disentangled for the unacontentableness, hung in shame with brave Rechia, leaving body free, right? He used his hair, dot, yet his denominations buried him, rebelling leaves beneath women, and lo, my fingers, denominations would learn to keep an eye. So, you see what fun you can have with mathematics? Sometimes I kind of think of this as a gaming channel because um, I can have a, quite a lot of uh, fun messing around with what you can do in Mathematica. It's quite powerful. Okay, so that's all I have to show you for now, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.